This is Professor Nerf Sipes. This video shows how to complete a hypothesis test for a population mean when sigma is unknown using Microsoft Excel. Sigma being unknown is more realistic and happens more frequently than sigma being known. First, you would set up over here your null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis always has the equal condition, and the alternative will have either not equal to, less than, or greater than. And whichever value it is will determine which type of test you will use, a left tail, if HA is a less than, a right tail if it's greater than, and two tails if it's not equal to. You have a choice of using p-values or critical values to make your decision. Both methods are equivalent. Also, what you select here for the alternate hypothesis is just for your convenience. So you'll remember what to use here. It has no effect on any of the calculations. And how, where does that come from? There's another tab here that has those symbols. And they, that drop down list is set up using the data tab, data validation technique. <clears throat> In any case, the blue cells, the input that's needed for this spreadsheet, is first the hypothesized population mean, in this case 12.5, the level of significance, 1% for this, this one, and your sample size. You need to be either dealing with a normal distribution or n needs to be greater than or equal to 30. The sample mean, x bar, and the sample standard deviation, little s. The standardized test statistic is calculated automatically for you. It uses the formula b4 minus b1, which is x bar minus the mu0, the hypothesized mean, divided by b5, which is the sample standard deviation, divided by the square root of n. That is rounded to three decimal places, and that's what's used in these calculations down here for the different kinds of tests. For the p-values, we have a rounding there to four. All these are rounded to four, and it uses t dot dist b8, b3 minus one, true, the right tail uses 1 minus B11. The two tails is a conditional. If B8 is less than 0, it uses 2 times B11, otherwise 2 times B12. And the critical uh, region test, critical values, for the left tail, T inverse B2, B3 minus 1. For the right tail, T inverse 1 minus B2, B3 minus 1, and the two tails, starting with the right tail, is T dot INV dot 2T, B2, B3 minus 1, and the left tail is minus B19. To make your decision, you have a choice of either using p-values or equivalently critical values. For the p-values, you reject the null hypothesis if the probability of chance, the p-value, is less than or equal to the level of significance. For rejection regions, you reject the null hypothesis if the test statistic t it falls in the rejection region. <clears throat> 